In the hour when the King Messiah comes, he shall stand on the roof of the temple and proclaim that the time of deliverance has come. Those who believe and are faithful to God will rejoice in the light that will rise upon them. As it is written, arise, shine, for thy light is come. Only take courage and be careful to observe all things written in the law of Moses. And turn not aside from them, neither to the right hand nor to the left. Take care only of this, in all diligence, that I love the Lord thy God. Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, the King of the universe. May your name be blessed among men, as it is blessed in the immensity of the heavens. Blessed art thou, O God, Lord of the universe, who consecrated the Sabbath and all of Israel's celebrations. Amen. May the Lord bless and preserve you. May he let his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace. Amen. Come to my house, Rabbi, this afternoon. I promise my children. Thank you. Uh, Joseph. Ah, uh, Joseph, Joseph! There's, Joseph, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's, it's uh, very important. Uh, you see, if you just come with me, we can talk about it together. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scriptures are quite clear. Yes. Yeah. Yes, David, tell your mother and father you can come and see me tomorrow. Once you've mastered the craft, you will be free. Always remember, only those who know how to use their hands are free. Only they are not dependent on anyone else. Joseph, could we please? Anna. I shall leave you to work on your own for a minute. Remember, don't force the wood. Treat it gently. Yes, of course. Now you must take it flat. That's very important. You said to say that. Anna, I intended to find you when we finished work. But I'll come with you now. You know that my husband... God rest him, best of men. ...was very fond of you. He would have come to you himself. But in the end, he could hardly speak. Poor man. What sleep he could get was disturbed by dreams about his daughter. Alone, without a brother, no man in the house. And now I can't sleep. And when I die, as I must soon... Why do you say that? I have a feeling that I will not live much longer. You have years ahead of you, and you can sleep soundly tonight. It's a great change in a man's life. But I also know a single man is only half a person. <laughs> As for the contract and the date of the wedding, I leave all that to you and the rabbi. Oh, thank you, Joseph. You won't regret it. Mary's a good girl. She'll make you a beautiful wife. Shall we sign the contract the first day of the full moon? And then, after a year's betrothal, celebrate the wedding in the season of the harvest. When the earth yields up its fruit and every heart rejoices, with luck, I may live to see it.
Oxford. Do not be afraid. Yes, it is. May this betrothal, one to the other, Joseph, Mary, be blessed and sanctified according to the law of Moses and of Israel. Amen. Amen. How can that be? No man has ever touched me. Mary, who are you talking to? This news of Elizabeth. My cousin Elizabeth? What news? She's going to have a son in three months' time. She conceived the child six months ago, on the 19th day of Tishri. But Elizabeth was always barren. Now she's far too old. What nonsense is this child? Oh, but it's true. She's going to have a son. And I must go and visit her.
visiting parts of the empire, I've been wondering at the countless religious beliefs of these nations. The Egyptians, the Syrians, King Herod, uh, to revert to the Jews, I wonder, um, is it because, as you say, they identify future with past, that they have so many prophets? Oh, the prophets, it's the sun which breeds them. <laughs> <laughs> many of these are harmless, they preach religion, we, we let them go, but some of them preach rebellion because it is written. Altogether, literacy has had a disastrous effect in this country, <laughs> and those we eliminate... Rome has taught us that although this may be indifferent theology, it is very good government. <laughs> <laughs> Majesty, I've heard the word Messiah. What exactly is a Messiah? Oh, even you have heard that awful word, Proclus. Is he a prophet or is he something even... Well, Rome, even Rome, cannot influence men's dreams. And the Messiah is a bad dream, disguised as a solution to every problem. It's a leveler of scores, a rewarder of righteousness, a scourge for the wrongdoer. It is uh, the bringer of everlasting peace. <laughs> that is, I understand it, from what you have said, a Messiah is worse than a prophet uh, from the Roman point of view. Oh, from the Jewish viewpoint, too. Only you try telling that to the Jews. <coughs> no, don't, don't. It's much wiser not to consult them just when a messiah appears, crush it underfoot like a young scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> now you can tell great Augustus that he can rest in peace in Rome. There will be no messiahs, true or false, in Palestine while I am alive. Come, Mary. We'll be comfortable. Here we go. May the Lord keep us safe on our journey. God bless you, child. Esther, Esther, take us to my sister in Bethany and tell her, tell her I'll be with her for Passover. All right, yes, I will. And go safely yes. on your journey. How did you know? Who told you? A messenger from God. And he told me another thing. A thing even more wonderful. You're blessed among women. And blessed shall be the fruit of your womb. I too am highly favored. That the mother of the chosen should come to me. From the moment your greeting reached my ears. The child in my womb leapt for joy. My soul doth magnify the Lord. And my spirit hath rejoiced in God, my Saviour, for he has looked kindly upon the most humble of his handmaidens, and he has told me that all generations shall call me blessed. He who is mighty has done unto me a mighty thing. Is it 
true about Mary's dream? Oh, yes, it's true. News came from Ain Karim. Elizabeth is going to have a child. Even though she's past the age? Oh, yes, Elizabeth and she must be nearly 50. Zacharias? Yes, that's the one. She's Mary's ah. cousin. It can't be true. Well, Joseph, are we going to get an invitation to your wedding? <laughs> Plenty of time for that, Jotham. The contract's only just been signed. Only just betrothed and his beloved's left him already. <laughs> just like her, she's always been a bit strange, not like the others. That's something you'll have to learn to live with. Uh, but seriously, Joseph, Mary is remarkable. We all think so. A remarkable girl. Blessed be thou, our Lord, King of the universe, who has blessed us with your commandments and ordained us to initiate our sons in the covenant of our father Abraham. Amen. As this child enters the covenant, so may he enter into the study of the Torah, into marriage, and into good deeds. Amen. Amen. This is the seal in flesh of the covenant between the Lord and his people. What is the name of the child? His name is... His name shall be John. When you get back to Nazareth, tell Joseph what you have seen and heard, what you know. The Lord God gives life where no life is possible. And one life shall be the Son of God, and the other shall be his prophet. Go, tell all this to Joseph. <coughs> But will he believe me? Will he believe me? God will open his heart. That's too much for any man to believe. But you're not any man. You too are chosen. I'm sick at heart. You ought to be my wife. But now the vow has to be broken. I swear I've never been with her. I said about Elizabeth was true. Don't worry. I believe in you. God's will be done. <coughs> now you're sure, huh? She told me herself. Women are the loveliest and brightest of God's creations. Thank you, O oh Lord, that you made me a man. Please, I need your advice. Oh, what advice can I give? The 
Yes, at all. Uh, Rabbi, how are you? Me, I... Uh... I it is written in the law, if in the time of betrothal a woman sins with any other man, let them both be taken beyond the gates of the town and stoned to death, for the abomination may be crushed out of the heart of Israel. Should a man marry a woman and she find no favor in his eyes, because she has found in her the stain of uncleanliness, let him write a bill of repudiation and deliver it into her hands. This law applies even if I haven't taken Mary into my house? Yes. Yes, all that is needed is for a bill to be written and delivered in the presence of two witnesses. No. If I do that, I will expose her shame. I can't. I can't. I'll send her away if I must. But in secret. God knoweth the secret of the heart. Trust in him and accept. Accept it, Joseph. The Lord will not abandon you. Thank you. Son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. It is by the Holy Spirit that she has conceived. She will bear a son, and you shall give him the name Jesus, the Savior.
With this ring. With this ring. Be thou consecrated unto me. Be thou consecrated unto me. According to the law of Moses and of Israel. According to the law of Moses and of Israel. May the Lord bless and preserve you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance toward you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. Your Majesty, we have always treated your country, as far as possible, as a free and independent nation. But the governor of Syria has decided to include Palestine in a census. In that event... A census in my territories? In Galilee, Judea, Ithuria? Whatever your motives for this, they'll be misunderstood. People will be uh, resentful, suspicious, perhaps... Uh, Perhaps even hostile? As consul, I am here merely to carry out instructions. My dear consul, there seems to be one aspect of the problem of which either Rome or you are entirely ignorant, and I cannot believe it to be Rome. The methods which you propose for your, your census are contrary to our tradition. Tradition? Uh, permit me, Your Majesty. I do not think that Marcus Nasso is aware of the tradition Your Majesty refers oh. to. For such official purposes as the taking of a census, every person living in these territories considers himself as belonging not to the place where he actually lives, but to the place of origin of his family group, his tribe. May I say tribe? You may say tribe. A census, therefore, means the movement of every person back to what he considers to be his native township ancestral capital to dignify a place which is sometimes no more than a stinking dunghill oh uh, you choose your phrases most exquisitely caius uh, uh, so if the census were conducted according to uh, local tradition you think your subjects would accept it more readily oh i see now we're supposed to count ourselves under your supervision I hope starting with the king. That is not. No, like seriously, it. seriously, have you any idea what this would entail? The shifting of entire populations, the disruption of trade. The divine oh. Augustus is counting on your understanding, Your Majesty. I hope I shall not have to inform him of any lack of cooperation. Thank the divine Augustus for his uh, unswerving. Benevolence. Yeah, census. It's a trick to increase the taxes. And we all know where the money ends up. In Rome. But why should it? What does Rome give us? That's not the point. The Romans want to count us. How many we are. Where we are. They want us to know that they are our rulers. But we should have no earthly ruler. No rule but the Lord. No king. But God, it's not for you to remind us of the scriptures. Be quiet and go home. I apologize for my son. He's too young to understand. What are you doing to the faith of our fathers? All over Galilee, there are thousands of Jews preparing for, for what you're always talking about in there, the coming of the king who will liberate us. Come. But what are you doing about it? 
Nothing! We accept the violence of the Roman Come home with me! We are not worthy of the king Stop to that. come! The king to come will not bring violence and bloodshed. Huh? It is written. He himself is pure from sin. God shall cause him to be mighty through the spirit of holiness. And wise through the counsel of understanding. Now come home. Stay there till you learn more respect for your elders. senses. So even Augustus obeys God. Uh, uh, the prophecy? Yes, the prophecy. For thou, O Bethlehem, art in no wise the least of cities. For from thee shall come forth a shepherd of my people, Israel. If only I could come with you. If only I... Joseph, you need help when he's born. Don't be troubled, Anna. He would be well cared for. Everything will be done as God ordered.
They seem to be kings, Lord Melchior, from different lands. I told you we could not have been the only ones to see the sign. Come in peace. Where are you bound? Wherever I am led. I follow that star. I'm sure that Herod keeps a strict watch on his frontiers. He must know that we have crossed them. I would have to tell him, as Balthazar has said, that I follow that star wherever it leads. But what will we find? All my calculations show that there was to be a new heavenly creature, a new star. It was even precise as to place and time. So I made up my mind to set forth and seek what they would unfold. You did not know? Only that it would be something wonderful. The stars are not distant and aloof, cut off from the lives of men. The rising of a new star entails an immense labor in the heavens that always has its counterpart on Earth. The universe is about to bring forth a prodigy beyond our understanding. Your star. My brother, Balthazar, is indeed a sign of wonder. The divine Zoroaster says the next prophet will show himself in a foreign land, and the truth he will reveal will be at first only for his own people. But there is only one truth. And only one God. All the rest are vain, or parts of him. The people of Israel know this. Many of their wise men have been close to him. And their writings confirm my calculations. A king is about to be born. A king? A king who will free us from the evils of this world. Where will he be born? The sacred writings point to a small town in Judea called Bethlehem Ephrata. Excuse me, may I speak with you? What do you want? Desperately need a place for tonight. Huh? My wife is near her time. No, no, I can't help you. I already have too many people. But I've got... Can't you see? Come on! Close the door! How many times must I tell you the gate should be shut? (sighs) 
Nothing. But there must be another place. I'll try again. How do you feel? I don't like leaving you alone. Do you think you could walk a little further? Hold on to me. Oh, no. No. Stay there. Stay there. No. God will help us. Listen, it's no use trailing around Bethlehem anymore. Every inn is full up. None of them are going to take your wife in like that. Come, I'll show you. Take your donkey. That's right. Now, do what I tell you. If you go through that gate over there, just outside the walls, on the road to Jerusalem, you'll come to the... Careful. You'll come to some stables. Some caves. It's not much, I know, but it'll be warm and dry and plenty of fresh straw. Hmm? Look, they're down there. Can you see? Right. Now then, if I can manage it, I'll come back later and help. Oh, and if anyone tries to throw you out, just say that Abigail sent you. Abigail. Remember the name. We'll remember. Thank you. Beautiful child. Come and put him there in the manger and see if there's some fresh straw that'll keep him warm. I'll take care of her, poor girl.
Now then. Have you some water? Give it to me. Come, that's it. Who's that? What do you want? This is no place for you. Get out. Get out, you hear me? Off, off with you. Can't you see? Poor girl just had a child. That's why we come. We were told to. Told? By who? We were out there in the fields. This man came to us from nowhere. An angel. Shepherds, he said. They say that Israel is a scattered flock that lacks a shepherd. And then he said, tonight the shepherd is born. It is for you that he comes, he said, for the poor. That's why you came here? Yes. The man said, he said, the man said, today in the city of David, a savior has been born for you. Glory to God in the highest, he said, and peace on earth for those whom he loves. Come. Cross my border, yet not one of them sends a greeting. Are they armed? Not heavily, Your Majesty. Our spies say they're equipped to travel fast and far. But they were not heading here. If not here, where? It was Bethlehem, Your Majesty. They, they, they followed a star, the new star. Bethlehem? O oh, thou Bethlehem Ephrata, thou art the smallest... What was that phrase again? Thou Bethlehem Ephrata, art a little one amongst the thousands of Judah. Out of thee he shall come forth unto me, who is to be the ruler in Israel. And his going forth is from the beginning from the days of eternity. A ruler in Israel? Have those travelers watched all the time And bring me the names of all newborn children in Bethlehem. covers the earth, and dark night the nations, the Lord shall shine upon you. Come, come, come. 
I promise. Everything will be done the way we agreed. Long. Don't worry. I promise. Come, come. Bosha. The Lord said to Abraham, Keep my alliance and circumcise each child born unto Israel on the eighth day of his life. Amen. Amen. This is the seal in flesh of the covenant between the Lord and his people. And the child shall be called. His name shall be Jesus. And the nations of the world shall march towards... Huh? Where is he? Now I can die contented, Lord. According to thy word. I am Simeon, an old man who has waited long to see his salvation. And now my eyes have seen the child who will bring the salvation thou hast prepared before all people. A light of revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of thy people, Israel. And a sword shall pierce your heart. What is your name? Jophet Bar Elias. Uh huh. Where from? Uh, Eskalon. I forget to take it open. You? All three to the family. What's your name? Abdais Abdi. How many children? Seven. This is the youngest. How old is she? Three. Move on. And here are seven tokens. My husband could not come. He's ill. What can I do? I'll give you one for him, too, if you explain. How are these tokens? The coin they give to prove that you registered. Yeah, they're little tokens with oh. the Emperor's head on. Ah. How many in the family? Oh, Come on, Over there. Eat the Make food. Oh, no. Special orders. We want the names of all the newborn. Newborn? Note their names. The newborn. What did he say? He wants the names of all the newborn. Why do they want to know about the newborn? No point in arguing with them. You just do what you're told.
don't be afraid. Where is the child? We have come a long way to greet him. is the king of Israel who will take away the sins of the world. I did not know what we were to find and coming here a stable I thought my brothers were mistaken but now I see the justice of it there could be no other place mm. not in glory but in humility. Accept these poor tokens of our homage. Incense to perfume the halls of the mighty. Gold for kingly rule. Myrrh, the most precious herb of the East and the most bitter. And now, a word of warning. Leave here as soon as you can. Herod's soldiers have followed us, hoping we'll lead them to you. He knows of this birth. He'll seek out a child to kill him. Go into Egypt. It may not be for long. Herod's days are numbered. Travelers crossed my frontier again. Yes, your majesty. Yes, your majesty. But the child must still be here. Kill every male child up to one year old. And two years old. Better the innocent should die than that the guilty should escape. Guilty? Your Majesty, a child? Guilty in the womb! Guilty in the stars! I'll bring down their stars! I'll snuff them out in blood! This is my world! I will not share it with an infant. There's no room for two kings here. Like a newborn scorpion and a foot. You know the mark of a real king? Courage, even in the face of Jewish prophecy, bits of old parchment, old blind men. Ha! Now go to Bethlehem and make history. Kill! But your majesty! Kill! Kill them all! Kill! Kill them all!
is fulfilled. That which was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. In Rama was there a voice heard, lamentation, weeping, and great mourning. Rachel, weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they were no more. taken in the midst of his sins, struck down by the Lord to whom the power and pride of kings are as nothing. You cannot defy God, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Yet the yoke of tyranny will not be lifted from us. Rome will choose a king from among his sons and her grip will become stronger. But you should lift up your hearts, for the Eternal will not abandon us. He will send us a deliverer. And his dominion is the everlasting dominion that shall not pass away. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. See? Nazareth. That's where we live. Hear, O Israel. The Eternal our God, the Eternal is one. Blessed be the name of the glory of the kingdom for ever and ever. And thou shalt love the Eternal thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee shall be in thine heart. Amen. Amen. A man skillful in his work will stand before kings. And our work, like every other, has a second meaning in God's eyes. We use this to make a straight line on the wood before we cut it. And as we use a ruler to make straight lines, God gave us rules to keep our lives straight.
God gives the wood. And man, with his skill and invention that God gave him, is always finding new uses. Sometimes wonderful uses for it. A wheel, a plow, a ladder. They all look simple, but they are from God. And a ladder can sometimes reach from earth to heaven. Joseph! Joseph, didn't you say the plow would be ready? Coming! Keep on with your work. What is this? Well, look at it. What have you done? This is not how I asked you to make it. Oh, no, no, it is not the same as before. It was supposed to be ready days ago, and now it is not ready. Bless God, who has given us the Torah. The Lord God will go before you. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid, for the Lord thy God will go with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Amen. Now you're truly a man. <laughs> Jesus Bar Joseph, as a new adult member of our community, you have exercised your right to read and comment upon the scriptures. That is your heritage. It is the heritage of the children of Israel. But remember that God's word is spoken in times of light and in times of darkness and persecution. May you always read from the law in a time of joy. Amen. <laughs> May God protect you. May God bring blessings on the board. The Roman soldiers are here. The Roman Jewish bread, better than nothing.
Who's this? Quartermaster, an army must eat, and it's a long way from Damascus to Jerusalem. Yeah, but Galilee isn't Roman territory. <laughs> the whole world is Roman territory. Hey, put your sword back. Ignore them. You'll meet with plenty of those in Jerusalem. They're called zealots. They're mad religious fanatics. You there. Remember this. The Roman army is not a pack of bandits. And we'll deal with the likes of you in our own good time. Come. May the curse of God fall upon these murderers! How long must we wait, O oh Lord, for you to help us? God has abandoned us. How long? less this house that I have built. Yet attend to the prayer and supplication of thy servant, O Lord, that thine eyes may always be upon this house day and night, this place of which thou didst say, it shall receive my name. Son, we've been looking for you everywhere. 
Why were you looking for me everywhere? Did you not know you would have found me in my father's house? How long, O oh Lord? I go old. What have I promised to the prophets? Where are they? Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and tell her that her time of bondage has ended, that her penalty is paid, salvation is at hand to be shouted from the mountain tops. Huh. Comfort ye. Comfort, God, comfort. <laughs> the teaching is clear. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will clear the way before me. A messenger before me. messenger and the Lord will suddenly come to his temple and the messenger of the covenant behold is here the people of Galilee thought that they had seen the depths of iniquity when their land was ruled by Herod the man of blood yet now his son and heir Herod Antipas the new prince of Galilee strives to outdo his father's crimes, for he follows his lusts and breaks faith with God. He dares to defy the Lord of Moses by entering into unholy marriage with the wife of his brother. If we permit this, all of us will suffer for his sins. He's here, the Baptist. He's here. Well? Well, well what? <laughs> well, uh, leave him alone. Oh, no. On march again, continue! Oh, what harm can he do? He's been out there for years in the desert. Living on locusts and, 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 and prayers. He doesn't incite the people to rebellion. He asks nothing for himself. All he wants is to remain poor and naked. You'd very much like everybody else to do the same. Oh, no. When the wedding festivities are over, I'll have him preach at the palace. You can hear him with your own ears. He's a very remarkable man. I'm glad there is somebody remarkable in Judea. Herod! Herod! The tablets of the law speak plainly. You may marry the wife of your brother when your brother is dead, but not while he lives. This woman, Herodias, is the wife of your brother, Philip, and Philip lives, tetrarch in Iturea. It is written, I have seen thine adulteries and thine abominations. Woe unto them! Wilt thou not be made clean? Send back this woman to your brother. Repent! How can you allow this slander to continue? No, no, no. We decided to be clement on our wedding day. I'm not afraid of your power on earth, Herod Antipas. If I do not warn you, you will die in sin, and the Lord will ask me to account for your life. Quickly, into the palace! Repent! Repent! 
The Lord bless you to you, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Brothers, we can make use of this man. His attacks on Herod and Hippus excite people. He makes them think about Israel. Don't be too sure about it. Prophets only make men think about God in heaven. So do we. And if we want to direct people's thoughts, we must use what means we can. Yes, but we zealots want to see the power of God on earth fighting the Romans. Does John want that? The time has come. The great and terrible day of the Lord is at hand. Repent and change your lives. Every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill laid low. The winding ways shall be straightened and the rough ways made smooth. God led you back from Babylon to serve him, but you've betrayed him. Now you're warned, flee, flee. <laughs> And you, too, have not ceased to be sons of Jacob. From the days of your forefathers, you have been wayward and have not kept my laws. If you will return to me, I will return to you, says the Lord. Do not think you will be saved by your rituals, by going to the temple. It is not sacrifices the Lord demands. Bring no more vain offerings, saith the Lord. I delight not in the blood of bullocks and of lambs. The sacrifice God demands is a repentant heart. What do we do then to be saved? Change your hearts. Take the right way. The Lord saith, my ways are not your ways. Why speak as though none of us know the way to salvation? We know the law as well as you, and we try to obey it. We are the sons of Abraham. We have always kept the law. To those of you that deem themselves just and pious, I say that you must bring the fruits of repentance. Do not content yourself with saying, Abraham was our father, and that is enough to save us. The Lord could take any one of these stones and turn it into a son of Abraham. Pharisees, we know you. Go back to Jerusalem. Yes, go back to Jerusalem. He's right. John, 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 and ready for the me. coming of save the kingdom. Me. Open you up your hearts me, to John. God. I am just a sinner. Receive Please, John. this cleansing Please, life. Save me, save me, John. I have sinned. Have Please, mercy on me. I repent. I am a sinner. Let this water wash away your save sins. Me, John. Disgrace of Israel! Go back to your husband! Go back! Oh, John, pay for it! You'll pay for it! Oh, you are a worm. Oh.